Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly reading for Capricorn, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus. So if you have any Capricorn placements in your chart, this reading is for you. We're going to hop right into your spiritual insights. Thank you all so much for tuning in, whether you're old or new here. Thank you for joining the community, and it is my pleasure to read for you here, Capricorn. And I'm feeling for you, something is risky. So taking a risk may be risky. I don't know what this means for you. It won't resonate with everyone. But if you've been unsure about something, you've been questioning it, it may be risky because I feel like you're unclear about something and it could be you don't have enough information. And maybe this is why it's risky because you don't have enough information to move forward with whatever this may be for you. I'm hearing uh, and seeing a lot of mind chatter that's going on for some of you. I feel uncertainty coming up. I feel confusion. I'm um, feeling, a, you know, a hodgepodge of emotions that are feel feel very low vibrational for some of you. But um, I feel like some of you maybe either your faith is being tested or you simply don't believe something. So it's very interesting. It's a very interesting insight because I can see your face surrounded in this gold light. And there's there's a look of strain on your face. And I hear you saying, I just don't get it. But I feel like you're I feel like you're lacking trust in some way. OK, and that's not going to resonate with everyone. The color gold, right, is synonymous with um, it represents spiritual enlightenment and transformation. So. It's a, it's a symbol. It's usually seen as a symbol of uh, purity, wisdom, um, or spiritual attainment. Yet the energy feels contradictory to the meaning of the color gold. Okay, so what I'm feeling for you doesn't match what I'm seeing. You surrounded in this, you know, gold light and you are, I don't know. I don't know if you're battling something right now. You're battling your spirituality. You're battling trust and faith. It can show up. In many ways for you okay there is some news that is coming towards you during this month so for some it has something to do with a job career or your finances and some of you have been um, hard on yourself lately so spirit is asking you to be easy okay be easy be gentle with yourself and um, the last insight uh, uh, feeling some of you are going to be purchasing a, or leasing a car could even be a home for some of you, but I specifically saw a car. So you're going to be doing something with the car, something around the car, okay? Involve, revolving around the car. Your universal messages, we have create space for new love. And this card says, when a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it, okay? So create space for new love. And your other card is turn on your love light. So everything has to do with love. And we talk about light, gold light. Um, so there's there's a lot of, uh, there's illumination around you. And it's you a matter of you tapping into that. And sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Okay? Works for me, the universe. Turn on your love light and create space space for new love okay very interesting messages revolving around love for you here capricorn your angel number if you're seeing this number is 0606 or you may be seeing 606 on the clock this is about commitment so it's about loyalty your responsibilities your truths love light spiritual realm growth and solutions and seeing this number applying it means that applying honesty and light daily is a fast track to creating a peaceful and meaningful life it's how you find solutions and comfort release worries by speaking your truth and expressing emotions regularly open up for the best is yet to come okay very interesting because it's like your commitment to yourself, your commitment to your spiritual practice, your commitment to God, source, higher being, whatever that is. That gold light that I'm seeing you in Capricorn really does mean something um, that and it really it really does make me feel like some of you may be going through some sort of um, awakening, uh, maybe even warfare, um, spiritual awakening, spiritual warfare something like something is being tested in some way 
What do you need to release is a question that you can ask yourself and conclusions are within reach. So we just had, we just came out of eclipse season. We just had um, a moon, I think it was a full moon, no, it was a new moon in Taurus. So on May 23rd, we'll have a full moon in Sagittarius. And I know this, we're, we're still feeling the effects of the, of the full, of the eclipse season. Um, but some of you may have just experienced some closures during that time, the past couple months in March and in April, maybe even before then, but specifically during specifically during the eclipse time here. This may still be on the horizon for you where you're, you know, reaching conclusions um, to relationships or making decisions about your life, whatever that is. So keep that in mind that conclusions are within reach. And the question is, what do you need to, to release? And spirit wants you to stop focusing on time frames and don't force things. Okay. These are very important. Okay. Keep those in mind. We're going to hop right into your tarot and see what is coming up for you, my dears. Spirit of the Most High, we ask for the clearest, highest messages for Capricorn. Even if those messages are outside of their current paradigm, we do seek the truth for their highest good and the highest good of all of those that are involved. Thank you. Messages for Capricorn. Was that the Hermit and the Five of Swords? Definitely conflict and some of you may be isolated or, you know, thinking about things and maybe this may be feeling like a dark time for some of you here. Some of you are dealing with the air sign, maybe even a Virgo. A lot of these cards, the Justice, Libra energy is here. So seeking truth. Again, a truth is coming out. Fairness, justice. All right. We have the Six of Swords coming out reversed. The Seven of Swords reversed. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Ten of Swords. Or these are your thoughts that are going on, things that are transpiring in your mind. Five of Swords reversed. Wow, this is a lot of sword energy here. The Moon. <coughs> Pisces energy. Judgment, Scorpio energy here. Queen of Cups, Pisces. All right, let's see what is what's coming up. All right, so we have one, two major arcanas here. So this lets me know that some of you are feeling like that's this that's what exactly what I was feeling early that uncertainty that is coming up confusion that is coming up in some sort of way around a decision that you need to make because I feel like some of you are in a position where you're awakening and you're changing you're shifting and what worked before energies that worked before like no longer suit you anymore. So I feel like you're, you're needing to make decisions about what it is that you're going to be, what do you need to release, right? That is important. So you're making decisions around that. And these are very big decisions because the moon and the judgment, they're big changes. They're, they're, they're majors here out of the seven cards. So this is saying these are big changes that you're feeling right now. The confusion, uncertainty, risky also with the moon here. It's a risky energy. Um, but there's there's this energy, a feeling of, of lack here, a lack, lack of, you know, lack of judgment and self-control and needing to make judgment calls. But again, there's some sort of transition that you're going through. There's a lot of thoughts and a lot of communication that's happening as well. So I don't know if how that's showing up for you it could be both, but a lot of people, a, a lot of energy, a lot of things that you're communicating to someone or you're just, you know, in this position, like I said at the beginning, there is an uncertainty, confusion that's coming up for you, but you're surrounded in the gold light. So it feels very contradictory. OK, so I don't know what it is that you're experiencing that feels very contradictory in your life. It makes me feel like some of you are renewing, you're rebirthing and the things that once 
you know, supported you or, you know, or the things that you loved or the things that you, you know, were a part of your life, it doesn't fit anymore. And so it feels contradictory to you possibly because you're going through this awakening phase and you're disconnecting from what was. And maybe people are looking at you differently in this moment because it's like, how can you just make that drastic shift? It's because some of you are coming into a true calling and whatever that calling may be for you. But you're having lots of revelations. This feels like a very spiritual um, portion of your journey and very spiritual reading is what I'm feeling for some of you as well. Because there's just a lot of endings to relationships and thoughts. You know, people being jealous of you, people being conniving, um, you needing to, you know, you needing to be on alert about things that are happening in your environment. Like there's a lot of emotions that are going on right now and you're trying to balance them and it feels like you may just be all over the place. And some of you are in this mind frame of like, when is it going to end? Remember, Spirit is saying, don't focus so much on the time, okay? Don't force things, okay? Don't force things. Stop focusing on time frames because this is a, a portion of your life, a time in your life where the shift happens. And for some people, that can take months. Some people, that can take years. It's just a matter of what are you going to allow yourself to be receptive to so that you move past this quicker? And it's not about getting to the finish line um, in, a, in a timely manner, but it is about really comprehending, understanding, um, and accepting and surrendering to the process so that you can make progress in whatever this is. Okay, I'm going to clarify some of these cards here because I feel like for some of you, this may show up in a relationship and some of you are really dealing with this internally because we have quite a few reversals here. We have one, two, three, four, five reversals out of seven cards, which lets me know that you guys are feeling a lot of things. You may not even be discussing these things. And because we have the moon card in reverse, there's a lot of things that you're battling with internally that you probably you probably can't even articulate in this moment. And so you're keeping things to yourself because you're trying to figure out when is this going to end? Do I really feel this way? I used to love this person. Like I used to love this person. I used to love doing this. I used to love all of these things. And I, they just don't resonate anymore. They don't fulfill me in that way. And it feels conflicting to me because I changing. And that's what that feels like. I'm in, And some of you are confused about the shift that you're feeling, which makes complete sense now why I see you wrapped in golden light, a light of spirituality and enlightenment, and you looking either frustrated, confused, uncertain, because you're just kind of like, what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling for you. You're like, what is happening right now? Okay. So we have um, the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is in your um, overall energy during the month. Okay. Keep in mind that time is fluid. This reading is also very timeless and it's classic. So whenever you're seeing this is when you're meant to see this. Okay. Because everyone has their journey and when they're experiencing some of these things that we're discussing today, okay? So some of you are, um, are in this position of your, your journey feels like it's being postponed because you're not allowing, you're not surrendering. You're in this position of trying to force things, trying to stop things, trying to figure things out, trying to figure, understand it, trying to figure out how, why, all of these things. So it prolongs your journey, just what we were talking about. So that Six of Swords here, Reverse, is saying some of you are having a difficult time with accepting this new process, okay? you having a new time with letting go of people and things that once you love, you once loved, because now this grand change is happening and it's confusing you and you're still trying to hold on, almost hold on by a thread for some of you, okay? And it's bringing on a lot of emotional baggage, which is why the Six of Swords is here reversed. And then we end with the Queen of Swords because this energy makes you feel emotional emotionally exhausted it makes you feel depressed you, you you feel like you might have mood swings going on um all of these energies that could come up like very moody withdrawn and blocked in some sort of way so overall some of you are in this position where you may be feeling trapped and you're yearning for something else but you're not clear about 
what it is that you're actually yearning for because you really just want to like the things that you like, like the people that you like. But spirit is not letting that happen because you're elevating here, Capricorn, okay? Create space for new love, this new love for self, this new love for things and people and all of the things that, you, you know, it's, it's a new energy that you're creating here. Why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Empress is coming out reversed. Okay, so this is you really needing to nurture yourself in this moment. Okay, so that you can manifest your abundance. So that you can be in this position but so that you can grow. Because someone, some of you are stifling your growth in this moment with the Empress. And the Empress is a very abundant, beautiful energy. Taurus, Libra energy here. And some of you are really holding on to something. I'm feeling an overwhelm going on in the heart. There's a lack of trust. Again, like I said, initially in your spirit, inside spirit is saying you're not, you're not trusting right now. You're not, you, your, your faith is low. You're uncertain. You're confused. You don't know what to do instead of just surrendering and let the process and letting the process be. We have the eight of pinnacles that is coming out for you as well in your overall position. So some of you really need to take the time to work on yourself, to work on your spiritual practice. Some of you are needing to develop a daily regimen so that you can tune in and get those answers. For those of you that are trying to rush the process, you can't rush the process, but you can speed up the process if you do create some sort of daily practice where you're tapping in and you're tuning in to yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, your environment. It will give you clarity around things and help you progress a little bit further. So some of you are in this position, are going to be in this position during this month of really tuning in so that you can get answers, so you can get clarity, and so that you can move forward, so that you can do the things that are meant for you, that is, that's best for you. Okay, because there's a lot of things that are going on for you internally. And again, like I said, some of you are stifling your growth because you're worried about other things okay some of you are dealing with an Aquarius energy here this can also show up as a Libra or a Gemini for you all right so um, in your obstacle position obstacle challenge that you may face we have the seven of swords coming out for you reversed so some of you it's I'm, I'm feeling like the revelations. I don't know. The revelations that some of you are having are sort of piercing your soul in, in a way that makes you feel you're feeling hurtful. You feel uncomfortable because I feel like you're seeing things in people for who and what they are and things that you've never seen before. OK, and, and it could be because you're growing and glowing Capricorn that you're seeing the things that people have already been doing, right? You're you're just seeing a lot clear. You're just seeing a lot clearer now, okay? And I feel like that's challenging for you because you then have to make a decision about letting people go based off of their behaviors, okay? So Aquarius energy here. Aquarius is pretty prominent here because um, I'm seeing Aquarius energy here like three times already. So, but for sure, uh, but for sure, uh, um, an air sign here, but. I feel like it, I feel like you have you are now going to be um, getting your reparations like in a way where um, spirit is giving uh, is, is giving back to you as, as you're doing work you're getting something back okay and some of you are getting clear pictures of people's identity that are not that are seriously flawed. OK, and I feel like that makes you feel uncomfortable. The number seven here is about personal challenges and things that were secrets now being revealed in some sort of way, like you being tested. But this is a number seven is a very spiritual number. So it definitely feels like you're creating a spiritual foundation. And it real, feels very I feel very, like you're very uncomfortable. I feel like you're very uncomfortable. And I feel like you have to watch yourself when I feel like Capricorn. The vibe I get from you is like super chill, laid back, like to have a good time. And for you to have to be on alert, okay, with the seven of swords here, for you to have to be on alert is a lot of energy. It takes away from all of the things and the creativity and the, 
you know, the things that you want to do in your life because you're now looking at people differently. Why is the Seven of Swords here reversed? Oh, these two. The Two of Swords and the Tower. Okay. So this, this feels very intense. So some of you have been blinded. Some of you are, I feel like you have taken the blindfold off in this situation. And now you have to make a decision with the tower. And it has to be sudden decisions in order for you to move up to move up this enlightenment phase. Okay. I just feel like you're feeling uncomfortable. You're feeling uncomfortable, like things that you didn't see before you are now seeing very clearly now. Although the Two of Swords has, has a blindfold on, I do still see, I, I still feel like you're seeing underlying things, like things that are not even seen with the physical eye because you are actually doing your work. So if you're sitting in meditation and you're journaling, you're connecting with your divine team, it definitely feels like you're getting answers to things that you had questions to. Or are you getting answers to things that need to be revealed in order for you to release them to move on? Okay, so it feels very sudden. It feels urgent. It feels like it's needed. It feels uncomfortable. It's very challenging here with the tower. And it, things are going to be changing for you. And some of you may be a little uncomfortable with change because you're an earth sign. You're grounded. You're chilled. You're laid back. And not too much things are changing. They change on your terms. But when things are shaken up that are out of your control, it feels uncomfortable, okay? Because you like to chill vibes here, Capricorn. But this is very fiery. Mars energy, which is very aggressive, okay? Um, and granted, there, every, every sign in the month. So the Capricorn in December and January are going to be different. Okay, I know December, I know <laughs> December um, Capricorns that are about about it. My mom is one of them, okay? My cousin, I have cousins that are there about it. In January, the January Capricorn, very chill, laid back, no confidence. They don't really care for confrontation. December Capricorns will get it popping, okay? So it definitely feels like it could be for those of you that are in January, okay? Since we have this air energy and we have a lot of Aquarius, January, January Capricorns, you know, it feels like there's a shakeup and it feels uncomfortable where you're going to, you might get caught off guard and you just have this clear revelation that you're like, I need to be on alert. Okay. So this is, this is a, um, this is a very intense energy that I'm feeling for some of you here. So, you know, just be aware of that. You never know what the next step is going to be, especially as you're tuning in and tapping in, but at least you can get clarity. At least you can get understanding. At least you can create space for new love to come into your life so that you can handle the new situation with grace. What where you're headed is the 10 of swords. So this lets me know that this is uh, of an energy of things ending things that you've experienced here in the obstacle position here of, you know, the needing to be on alert because people are deceiving you and trying to get away with things. It definitely feels like where you're headed towards is, you know, some of you are going to be feeling defeated at moments. Okay. But this is an ending overall. Okay. Because it feels like Capricorn, you could have been surrounded by people who could have been jealous of you could have some sort of hatred towards you, but will smile right in your face, okay, and make you seem like you're the coolest, you know, dopest person in the world, but I feel like there is this, there's going to be an ending to the backstabbing, but, but I feel like it's because you do your work, and you're realizing who those people are, okay, why is this ten of swords here, this is definitely a transition that is happening for some of you. And I feel like it is setting you up for success, but you can't move into success without this little trial or tribulation that could be coming up for you. But there's definitely a beginning and an end here that is happening for you. This Ten of Swords, King of Wands energy, and then the Knight of Cups. I'm feeling friendships, okay? So I'm feeling friendships coming to an end. Those don't have to just be friendships, but definitely people that you love. This could be family. This could be a, a disagreement or whatever with a father, father figure, um, a, a son, a daughter. But I definitely feel like, <coughs> excuse me, it feels like a dynamic of family because I'm feeling like, bro like 
father, brother, uncle, or s someone, okay, and this could also, it's not gender specific, but I definitely feel like whatever you've gone through has been with people who are the closest to you that you have really had to discover if they are right a right fit in your life with this during this next part of the faith, the journey that you're going on okay so i definitely feel like there is going to be a lot of clarity that you're going to be getting around that okay um whatever that is because it definitely feels like it has been intense between you and someone or multiple people and you're really wanting to just take your love elsewhere because i feel like you have a lot of love to give capricorn and maybe it's just it hasn't been appreciated or it has been taken advantage of, been taken for granted. And this is the reason why creating space for new love is most important in letting your light shine. Okay, so what's headed towards you is the five of swords that is coming out in reverse. So this is, I feel like once you figure out who these people are, some of you already know what that is, who, who they are, or the situation, or these thoughts, whatever, they come to an end, there is like a, there's a feeling of feeling like um, being defeated, but I feel like it's a temporary defeat, because I feel like you don't even have to talk about whatever this is, because you have built up your conscious game so strong that you're able to overcome this quicker than you would have if you were if you were not doing the work okay so as you as you're creating this space for love you're also creating more tolerance for the challenges that you're going to be enduring so it feels like a minor defeat but i definitely feel like you're going to be moving on from whatever conflict this may be okay and you're like you're definitely moving into something different okay the number five is connected to um, a new cycle. So this is change that has definitely happened, but it's, it's, it's change with challenge, okay? But I do feel like you're working up to be able to not be completely defeated by whatever it is that you're going through here. Why is the five of swords reversed here for Capricorn? we have the world look at that and we have the four of wands love that okay so you're definitely going to be moving on with your life so that's what's coming towards you like you're going to be moving on into something bigger and better and the will of the war the world is the last card in the deck okay in the tarot deck i mean in the in the, in the major arcana uh suit so this, this lets me know that this is definitely an end. It's a minor defeat. You're moving on from something and you're going to be setting a new foundation. When I think of the wands too, I think of deep conscious spiritual um, connection. So you're laying the foundation. Some of you are seeing 1111 often and this is your confirmation too outside of the number 0606. But your confirmation that life is changing. Life is changing for you, that you will not be defeated anymore by the little things that are menial on in this grand scheme of what we call life. Okay, so there is definitely a great shift that is coming for you. Your life is definitely changing. You're going to be seeing things clear, walking through this new um, this new portal of change and, and watching your life just be filled with more love, more light, okay? You're not forcing things. You're just letting things go, people go. We have that moon card that is coming up for you in the uh, reverse, coming up in reverse in your what's happening in your near future, okay? So there is that feeling again of, um, I feel like some of you may begin to question, are you doing the right thing? Of course you're doing the right thing when you feel peaceful in your spirit that is 100 percent um confirmation from the universe okay so things may surface okay and you may feel like you're feeling uncertain you're confused about things again those same energies that we talked about initially two of cups and then we have the the six of pinnacles so I definitely feel like you're going to be I'm hearing marrying okay so and this could be why some of you, some of you here in divorce for some of you as well, but marrying, things are going to be changing. Okay, some of you may be confused or uncertain about where your relationships are going, and maybe they're not 
they're not giving to you the way that you need okay they're not supporting you in the way that they need this is not even this could be i mean the pinnacles are connected to money but i definitely feel like it is something that you need in order to move forward you're going to be questioning and realizing who's providing that sort of support to you where do you keep pouring out where you're not getting back okay so what love what amount of love are you create are you giving out and you're not getting that back okay because the six of pentacles is about reciprocity but it makes me feel because the moon is here you're not getting something the moon in reverse you're not you're lacking something in your relationship or relationships and for for some of you there's just the revelation that happens it's like i'm not getting what i want from this okay i, I so I, I feel like it's almost like a risky situation and for some of you pouring in financially into something may be risky as well okay that's what i'm feeling so if you're battling with your spirit about something it's usually a no <laughs> okay it's usually a no what your advice for the month is uh, the judgment card and some of you are going to have to make a judgment call a judgment call to let things go let people go who are not serving you and to really just step into your truth and yes sometimes it feels lonely okay it feels lonely when you're climbing to the top but i definitely feel like you have to be open to this new process things are going to come up from the surface but I do feel initially, I mean, initially yeah, I'm feeling that this is all about awakening. Okay, so things are coming up to be released. So you might see people coming out of the woodwork. You might see, you know, you might, you know, memories or people bringing up old memories or people bringing up things that you've done to them. Like, really, it's, it's, um, it's part of this process. Okay. So you're going to have to make a choice about something to change your life in some sort of way. I'm going to pull clarifier around that. So when that feeling of uncertainty and confusion and all of that comes up and you begin questioning, is it the right thing? Spirit is saying yes. As long as you're feeling in your spirit. Knight of Swords, Eight of, um, eight of Swords here lots 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 of communication or air energy here so things are definitely so this could be someone coming in as well air sign that could be coming towards you that you need to have a conversation with you need to i don't know expose something you need to just be open you need to just say what you need to say so that you can move on because some of you somebody might be feeling trapped in some sort of way like they just can't i don't know they can't move on okay and I don't know if this is a person that you're dealing with that just can't move on the judgment card is also about forgiveness so this is going to be an opportunity for you to forgive during this month okay forgiving yourself forgiving other people for the things that they've done to you you can't hold on to that energy as you're moving into a new a new energy on this conscious journey okay so you have to let that go some of you are going to be having conversations with people your final outcome is the Queen of Cups here in reverse. So this is saying that some of you might feel a sense of sh like a shift in your energy because there's a lot that is transpiring. There's a lot of heaviness. There's overwhelm for some of you. And so it feels uncomfortable. I'm saying that you guys need to definitely rest when this comes up for you. Because going, look, I'm telling you, going through spiritual awakenings, when people talk about consciousness and awakening and being woke, it is not for punks. I'm telling you, it is an ongoing, it's an ongoing, beautiful unfolding um, that feels very challenging, that feels uncertain at times, that feels all of these things. But it opens you up to something really big and beautiful. And sometimes you will feel like you're isolated from people. You feel like you're you feel lonely on the road because there's a lot that is being unfolded because you're really getting to the core of who you are. Just imagine all of the habits and patterns that have covered up your surface, covered up your core, covered up your heart, covered up your authenticity 
for the amount of time that you've been on this planet. Like those are a lot of layers to pull back. So yes, there are going to be moments of you feeling isolated and feeling sad and feeling uncomfortable, feeling depressed, like all of these things. But just know that it is for good reason. And you're going to find your new tribe. If you have gotten rid of everybody in your life, there are new people that are going to be coming into your space. The Ace of Swords reminds me of the, the insight that I said earlier is that some news is definitely coming in for you some news about I'm hearing you moving on but the not but the nine of pentacles here is a card of abundance so some of you could be getting money but uh you know it's not I don't really really feel money but that is an option that is a that is a thing for some of you we're talking about the pentacles but this just feels like deeply rooted spiritual work that some of you are are definitely coming into okay so if you've been feeling um moments of withdrawal depression, emotional exhaustion, moody, feeling manipulated, feelings of jealousy, or if that's someone projecting that energy onto you, there is going to be some sort of transition, some sort of spiritual, some sort of breakthrough um, that is going to put you in this space of feeling free, feeling happy, feeling like you're growing, feeling like you have everything you need, sort of like the magician. And this is the nine here. So some of you are ending a cycle of toxicity, of um, of hurt, of um, enabling other people. Like you're moving past something, something that has been so prominent in your life, you're moving past that. You're ending that, okay? So there's a lot of endings that are happening here for you. Capricorn, but the most important thing is to create space for new love to come into your life. And that's not just a romantic relationship. This is a new universal love. And that is the highest love that you can receive. Unconditional, uh, non-judgmental, doesn't discriminate. Okay, love and above is where you want to be. So create space for the shift that is happening. Everything that is happening for to you is happening for you okay and it's not for nothing okay so that is your reading here capricorn thank you all so much for tuning in if you enjoy this or if it resonates with you or you're seeing 11 11 what does it mean to you let us know in the comment section below be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when i put out more capricorn readings enjoy the rest of the month like this video share with your family and friends i will see you guys very soon Many blessings to you, Capricorn. Love and light. Peace.